Now you can convert your imagination of your desired user interface to a rendered live one without any coding with just a simple text or even an image. This is about a new project called Open UI. Then let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, welcome to Open UI. That's a new project, and as you can see from the screen, that's gonna be your front end AI assistant developer. So you might have already tried asking ChatGPT or any large language model some front end code or HTML code generation. Well, you can do so. You have to go there, write down your own prompt, get the HTML code back, and maybe render it somewhere to make sure the code is working or debug it as needed. So what this app is going to do for you, which is open source, it can just literally create that HTML or any other front-end codes for you and render it live in the app, as you can see in the screen, so you can see if it works or not. And interestingly, as you can see here, you can write your follow-up comments to further changes as needed and run it again to see the changes live. So this is a great shortcut to, to leverage the capabilities of LLMs for generating front-end, but without you necessarily doing all the, the scratch work. So. You can run it locally on machine or uh, code space, and the good news is that works with uh, Olama model. If you don't want to pay for um, model providers like GPT-4, for instance, you can have Olama lo running locally in your machine, so technically this tool is going to be absolutely free for you, which is fantastic. So I have already enabled that on my machine. I'm going to show you how I did this. There are a couple of quick command lines you need to run. Make sure you have git installed and just run git clone. You will clone this repository and I will add the link of all these codes and GitHub repo to the Discord channel. And the Discord channel link is under video description here. Click on it, you will get access to what I'm doing here. So you clone this repository and then you navigate to open UI. That's gonna be a folder you download after doing git clone and go to the backend. Try to create a new virtual environment because you need to install some packages. So it's a good practice to use Python 3 to create a virtual environment. Then this is how you activate it, that using Windows, because that's my machine. And then after activating that, you need to install some packages underneath for this open UI. It's going to take a couple of minutes for you, so be patient. And then if you want to use open AI models, which I did for this demo, make sure you put your API key. And that's it. You just need to run Python open UI. After doing so, as you can see, I just did. I have my um, app running locally on my machine here. Let me do so, so you can see the full screen. There you go. OK, so there are some, by default, examples coming in. For example, design a to-do list for me. Let's give it a try. I click on it. As you can see on fly, it's generating HTML file and rendered it live for me so I can see the changes and ask some follow-up questions, for example, change the background color to green as an example well I have a typo here let's run this and let's see if it's gonna make the changes on flight there you go it changed the background color for me immediately and this is just HTML there is also JSX and as you can see you can have conversion to react well, it's using a large language model, so obviously you can have that code conversion easily for you. Um, if I go to the settings, you'll see that it's using GPT 3.5, and there's a system prompt and temperatures, so you can change it as needed, and this is by default coming in with the app, in case you're curious to know how they're asking your large language model, this is the system prompt that to have it. And if you want to go to a new task or new project, you just click on this pen icon, and not only you can write down what you want to do, but also you can upload a picture. For give you an example, here I had made a screenshot from Google search, and I want to give it to the app to see if I can have a UI similar to Google search. So I click on uh, drag and a screenshot, and just drag and drop my Google picture. And obviously you can start typing if you want to. It's optional to say what this picture is. This is a search engine 
okay and I hit enter so now it has my picture and also the text that I just wrote there so let's see how it's gonna render this for me okay it seems that it's doing some stuff I see there's a placeholder for search engine logo so for example mine had Google logo I have to later on replace it with what I want interesting you can see even the design of the buttons and the search bar is very close to what I had inside the given image which is this one right even the color the search bar and I can obviously ask changes as needed but so far good job not mad so you can of course fake make further changes by asking here also another interesting test that I did I have also took a screenshot from chat GPT UI which is this one I have uh, blurred some of the chat history because I don't need that for the design so I want to give this to the app and ask if it can generate a chat GPT UI for me and I think this is something you always want to do with your own chatbots right so let me do another one and this time I'm gonna upload but yeah I'm gonna say this is a chatbot interface and I want to give it a try okay it is rendering the code for me right now it is capturing okay let me compare that side by side to the original picture and check if it's working as needed so this is what we gave obviously it is generating this icons on the left side or the menu and there you go it is also generating on the right side what we have in the chatbot user interface. So let it finish and then we will see if we need to make some changes or it is good to go. Okay, I think it's almost done and it did a good job. Look at that. So this is my original picture. Let me minimize that so you can see side by side. One second. Okay, it did a pretty good job. It just need to add the OpenAI logo here some default chatbot uh, examples the place that you can put your chat which is here and it says massive chat gpt similar to what we have interesting and some icons you have on the left side one thing that is missed is that the name of the person who has logged into this chatbot should be appeared somewhere so let me ask if it can make the changes add the name of the person logged in to the chatbot on down left side of the UI okay let's see if it can do so okay it is generating the code again message okay so it added what I asked but not exactly as I showed in the picture maybe I have to re-upload the picture or be more specific exactly where I want to put it I could say put it under the menu on the left side but all the way down so obviously that's a great way and much more accelerated way to start design your front end if you're not a front end developer and you want to prototype something quickly and check out the html or if you don't want to necessarily use this app to develop everything for scratch for you at least you have something to build on the top rather than you starting from scratch and the nice thing here is you can not only see this desktop view you can toggle the to, let's say to mobile phone view how in mobile phone gonna look like or an expanded version so I wanted to show you how it works and give it a try. That's very simple to actually implement as I just read a couple of command line codes. And let me know what you think about it. If you have tried, share your comments and experience in the comment section of the video. And if you like, I will appreciate if you click on like icon. Thank you so much and until next video. Do you think that you become wise with reading books and knowledge? That's not true. The only way of getting wisdom is life experience. So go out, build connection, make mistakes. This is the way that you go towards perfection. Perfection of your life, your business, and your character. This is how you become wise. Dream big, my friends, believe in yourself, and take action. Till next video, take care.